So we talked for a while. What was her point? What did she say? That there was no people before Israel. Before the Israelites, there was no people living in Canaan. She's saying when, like, like back 8,000 Yeah, years yeah, ago. yeah. That the Israelites were the first, you know, to occupy the territory. But it's not true. But what, like Abraham's time, she's saying? Or like, or like when the Jews left Egypt and went, went to Canaan? That she couldn't answer. You know, when I told her that, you know, during Abraham's time, you know, that there was, that the, even the Torah mentions Canaan. And there was no Israel at that time, you know, and even the Jewish people... Canaan, it's what the Eretz Israel, when the Jews came into it, and in, in when Joshua came in after the Exodus. Yeah, and that was 400 was years later. Yeah. So, you know, Israel. like, there it was, was something called, there... It was called Israel then. Yeah. Well, no, it was called Canaan. No, the name changed when Joshua took over. He didn't take over, though. He only, he, in, he, he he only sort of came into the territory. But it was no, king... It was, there were wars. They, 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 they they fought for it. They got it. They, but there was they, they won it for but there was no so no kingdom was. until King King uh, uh, Saul. King Saul was the first king. Yeah. But until then they had they had they had prophets until and, 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 and judges. They, it wasn't necessarily a king. But they yeah, but for the Jewish king. people, yeah, but not for the, the whole so territory. Like a prime minister instead of a king, right? Like you, you have the president, the prime minister, you have the people who are in charge. But only for the a kingdom, where, like the king can step a sentence to the death. But it was definitely a rulership, and they definitely owned things, and they had property, and they owned things. Okay, land. well, was, yeah, okay, perhaps, you know, to one degree or another. But before Joshua, there was a country, and a people. But they didn't have a, you know, it wasn't, you know, unified. They had the way of war, you win, you lose, that's it. <laughs> like, if, if a country comes in, takes over, it's their country, like, you lost. No harder. Yeah, but they didn't, it wasn't taken over, you know, because... It was later I mean, said that King the David... War. They won the war, they took over. They didn't well, take over uh, everything. King David, you know, is the one who was told... Also took over a lot of it. He took over he Jerusalem. And a lot more. Yeah, but that was later King than Joshua. The whole land. So Jerusalem was not occupied by Joshua, right? So there was another administration there. It was called the Jebusites. In fact, it was the Jebusites who founded Jerusalem, not King... Jebusites, it's called. They were a tribe there. The term no, they were. Well, they could have been speaking Hebrew, even you know, no, but they weren't Jewish. I don't know. I don't know. So, what year did they, what year were but they Jebusites there? were the ones who founded Jerusalem because it's in the name. Je Jeru means Jebusites, and Salem means it was their name for God. King David took over. King yeah, Saul took over. but the point is that it existed before, before King David and before Joshua. Yeah, okay, no, no argument with that. Of course, it existed before. Yeah, but she didn't believe that. But what? Maybe the temple wasn't there. It wasn't. Yeah, the yeah, wasn't but she there. didn't. But you know, I, I tried to explain to her that there was a Canaan, and it was even mentioned, you know, in the covenant, you know, with Abraham. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, but she didn't yeah, know. Yeah, God promised that Abraham would get the land at, at, at a point, and that was that point when King David took over, I guess, or even, maybe even earlier. Sort of, it, not sort exactly, of you know, it, it means, you know, the covenant was God that they were welcome in the land of Canaan. Sorry? It, it, that the covenant with Abraham was that his descendants would be welcome in the land of Canaan forever. The Hebrew translation into English says possession. Yeah. But I think it's incorrect because it couldn't have been possession because well, Abraham had to pay 400 pieces of silver for the cave of Milpalak. He wanted to pay for it. No, no, he had to pay for it. Learn to read the text. I promise you, I can literally pull it up out of, out of my phone on me. But it says that Abraham wanted to buy a very. He didn't want to buy it. Well, yeah, he did. He so had to pay for it. Because he offered, he wanted to pay. Do you know why he offered to pay? Because he didn't want people saying that this was a land from the guy you sold to me. He said, I bought it because I want people to know this is my land. I yeah. paid for it. It's mine. Yeah, and, and he did pay for it, but he yeah, didn't, he didn't he steal it, it like the settlers do. No, he didn't steal it. Yeah, he bought it. That's right. That my, the me yeah. And my descendants yeah, but it. the settlers now in the West Bank, they don't pay for the land. They steal it. They owned it. They it. No, they, they, did, they didn't buy it. it. They didn't buy it from anybody. It was occupied. That's why it's against the occupation. Because it's not legal. Why not? Because it's, it doesn't belong to them. Even Abraham paid for the land. People should know that he, that he paid for these. Yeah, that but the settlers in the West Bank, they're not paying. Good, they won it in a war. War wins. You win. No. That's how war works. No, it's right before the International Court of Justice right now this week. They're talking about the occupation. They're going to declare the occupation illegal.
Okay, so you want the lower, so if you want it back, pay for it, not pay for it, win it, win it back, make a war and win it. They are. Exactly, so Israel's winning. And then they, they condemn the, yeah, as being terrorists. Did you, th you can take a picture of this and share it if you would like. Oh, no, I wanted to speak about something else. I wanted to ask something. Sure. I use a coffee uh, template to, to build it. So I've made the first two pages, but the, the third page I haven't completed yet. So it's still the old uh, template. No problem. Okay, are you planning to add on? To, uh, I'm going to add some more pages. That these, uh, like there's a petition page I want to put in there. And then I also wrote a. Uh, a document just recently, last week, uh, uh, which is an appeal to the Jewish people to oppose the genocide in Gaza. That's a uh, four-page uh, piece that I'm going to add in there as well. Ah, let me give you my my card because there's too much to do. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Here's one. Thank you. I don't know if I've given you a card. I should. Yeah. I'll email you. Thank you. Okay. We need to. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. It's freezing. Who's for bringing? We're talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sham. Yeah. I'm talking totally with him already. All right. We already wrapped up. Yeah? We wrapped Outside? Up it's, uh, yeah, no, like before, but when, when, I, when I got into the gym. No way. Yeah, we wrapped up. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Just discuss a little bit of some like, land issues. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was raised modern Orthodox. Yeah, nice. I have my own villain as well. Do you have payers? Do you have payers? Yeah, but uh, not for this side. I have long hair. I keep my hair long because... Just out of curiosity, one question. Who do you believe Eretz Kurdish belongs to? Eretz HaKodesh? Yeah, Israel. Okay, in Hebrew there's an expression, Hamadinat Vilo Yisrael. The state is not Israel. Okay. Because Israel is a Jewish people. Right. You know, and the majority of the Jewish people don't live in Israel. We don't have a vote for the elections there. Do Netanyahu doesn't speak for us. Yeah, right, but who do you believe that the country of Israel belongs to? The land? Uh, to the people living there. Yeah, it's the Jewish people. Actually. Yeah, including the Jewish people. And I wrote a whole book to explain how they could live together in a federation. You don't need a nation state. You, but Jewish people need national cultural autonomy. Not only there, but here also. Anyways, really cold, shorts, bro? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, next week I'll be here. No, no genocide in Gaza allowed. Yiddish, Yiddish. Oh, yeah. The Yiddish movies. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, okay. So. Oh, my. Happening so the court is going to decide this week. The international laws are going to decide if what Israel is doing is a, is an occupation of the West Bank, yes or no. Then they're and, going to and, recommend. And, and, and if Israel is wrong, then who's going to take over the land? Gaza or Jordan, right? No, not Jordan. Gaza, no, no, right? it's going to be the uh, political authority. I have something for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you anymore because I don't think we can get anywhere. But... Oh, no, no, we've gone through everything already. Yeah. Just uh, but it's just a moment. I, I'm going. I have something. I, I've got uh, some aloe vera for you because I told you aloe vera is what you need, but I'm sure you didn't go to get it because you don't know where to get it. So I took some of mine and put it in a small container here. And here it is, the green gel. All right. It's magic stuff. Okay. Good. Yeah. Wow. I'll, I'll get like a really bad rash to put aloe vera. So am I supposed to like just rub this in my face, rub water first? A little bit. Off, like, or yeah. Just, like, yeah. But you know the chemical <laughs> stuff that they give you, it's an anti anti uh, biotic. You know. Okay. Fine. But it doesn't do anything to heal the skin. 
aloe vera heals skin twice as fast as the natural rate of healing. 